Okay, so how does the Google Ads auction actually works? And what does influence the fact that your ad appear in the search results or not and on which position? I will explain you everything in this video. My name is Agnieszka and this channel is all about digital marketing and creating your profitable online business. So if you're interested in those subjects, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. The video is coming right up. Okay, so how does all this AdWords magic work? What does it depend on? It depends on the ad rank, of course. And yeah, there are many people competing for the same keywords, so Google has to decide in some way which ads to show. So the ad rank is the tool to decide which uh, adverts will show and on which position. So if you have a really low ad rank, it may uh, result in your ad not appearing at all if there are a lot of uh, competitors and they have a really uh, good ad rank. So let's discuss the three main factors uh, of the ad rank. So the first one is the bid, of course. So this is the maximum amount of money that you are willing to pay for this particular keyword. So you are competing with other advertisers on the price. But the important thing to know is that you will not always pay the maximum uh, amount of money that you are willing to pay your bid. So if you are bidding $5, but the person um, that is just before you has higher ad rank bids $4, you will only pay $4.01 uh, $4 because you just have to surpass uh, the other person by the minimal amount of money. So this is an important thing to know because if you are bidding $100 and somebody before you bids only 20, you will pay $20.01 uh, uh, and not $100. And this is a big difference. Okay, so the second uh, factor is um, the ad quality. And what does the ad quality score depend on? First of all, on the um, predicted uh, click-through rate, so the expected click-through rate, which means uh, how many times uh, people will click on your ad when it appears in the search results. Another uh, factor impacting the quality of the ad is uh, the ad itself, so the text of the ad. So whether it's relevant, whether it uh, responds to uh, and has relevance with these keywords uh, that you are going for. So the Google will check that. And the first factor is the landing page itself, so the landing page experience. And you have to know that you have to have a landing page that has valuable information there. So you cannot just lead from your ad to a simple landing page where you sell something because you, Google will not approve this kind of ad. And also remember, because not only can your ad be disapproved, but also Google can um, ban your account. And you know, if it happens, you cannot do anything. This is Google. so. Um, it's better not to risk it and respect, uh, respect all the rules. So first of all, the, 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 the page should have unique valuable information. It should have a menu because then there are more sites and it shows Google that it's not just a, you know, like a simple landing page to sell something, but this is really a proper site. Uh, so you need to have like a web, uh, home page and other pages. And also what you have to have is all the legal requirements. So you have to have privacy policy, disclaimer and the contact form. So these are the things to have on your landing page. And the third factor of the ad rank is the impact of the ad extensions. So the extensions can be uh, like a contact information or links to other sites. So because you are adding these extensions, uh, people are more likely to click on your ad because not only the ad is bigger itself, but they will, sh will see more possibilities for clicks. So if you have more extensions, you are more likely to uh, appear in the search in comparison to the situation when you don't have the extensions. So these are, these are the important things to take into consideration because uh, of course you can always bid more to win the auctions, but is this the, the best way to do it? Of course not. It's better to improve your quality score uh, and add the extensions and work on this uh, instead of just bidding higher.
Also remember that you can check your quality score in the Google Ads account if you go to your um, to your campaign and you will see it next to your click-through rate and average cost per click. If you don't see it straight away, just click on the columns uh, in the menu because uh, sometimes it's not shown straight away. But if you click it, uh, it will appear and you will see your quality score and you can work on it. So the maximum quality score is 10 and the minimum is zero, of course. So if you have something uh, close to eight, uh, it's really good. Okay, so I wish you good luck with Google Ads and see you in the next video.